Uh, the bicycle crunch, an exercise that people love to hate. We are going to be slow and controlled with these. We're not rushing, all right? First, you wanna make sure that your lower back is pressed into the floor, just like you would for the dead bug. I suggest you put your fingertips on your temple as opposed to putting them on the back of your head where you're gonna have more of that temptation to yank on your head. We don't want to pull on our necks, okay? Put those fingers at your temple, bring those legs up into upside down tabletop, and we're gonna come and we're gonna crunch across and together. We are exhaling as we bring our elbow and our knee together, and we're inhaling as we come across. This is a lot of pressure for your hip flexors, so you can leave your feet on the floor. And down. And down. And down. So you do whatever feels good for you. Again, make sure you can't put a hand underneath your back. Back is flat against the floor, slow and controlled. We do not want this like you frequently see at boot camp classes, okay? I want them to be slow, controlled, really feel that rotation and that crunch of your core.